Well, g'day curd nerds. Welcome to a provolone taste test. Well, you can see here this provolone is uh, the one that I hung up in, uh, I think it was the start of May uh, this year. So it has shrunk a little bit. So let's take it out of the string bag and we'll see what it looks like, shall we? So the string bag I used was an onion bag and it looks like it's decayed a little bit. I'll get some of that red stuff out of the way. I don't want that in my cheese. Now the cheese itself is quite um, quite hard. So uh, let's see what I can do here, whether I can cut it in half or what. So it's got a very good rind. It's got some indentations. So where obviously there were holes or gaps or something like that. There's not a spot of mold on it. So the oil that I wiped over it a couple of times seemed to work okay. Um, so that prevented mold. It just smells like milk. So let's um, see what I can do here without cutting my hand off. Hmm. Get that plastic out the way. Oh, here we go. Righty o. That's actually soft in the middle. Well, not soft, soft. Oh, that has an amazing smell. Anyway, let's get a close up of that, shall we? So you can see there, it's got a quite a thick rind. The rind probably is about that far in, uh, as you can see. And in the center, it's, well, I won't say soft, but it's certainly pliable. And the smell, it smells like the provolone that I did a taste test on, the one that I store bought. Anyway, so let's uh, cut off another slice and we'll see what happens, shall we? I'm gonna cut my finger off. How shall we do this? Mmm. Maybe cut it this way. Let's do it this way. Okay, so that's pretty nice, doesn't it? So a little bit of uh, eye formation there, only very slightly. It's not supposed to have any, it's supposed to be quite smooth. Um, but this looks pretty good, uh, as far as I can tell. Um, so similar shape to the bits of provolone you get in the store, except this one's not as large. But uh, yeah, certainly pretty good. And like I said, it's soft, so let's get into it, have a taste test. I've got a lot of it here, have I? <laughs> I thought this was going to be very small, but uh, it seems to have worked out all right. Anyway, let's uh, zoom out again, shall we? Cuts all right. It's not sticking to the knife. So I've got some little wedges there. Let's have a look. Mm. It's quite dry. It's um, not chewy. Certainly has that picante flavour that I was striving for. So I think I've, I've got the taste down pat. That's good. It's well salted. Um, you can taste that all the way through. 
So the brining worked well, um, but I'll tell you what, let's get to the rind. It's got the same texture as the piece of authentic uh, provolone that I bought from Italy. So that's really good. Mm. I would call this a success. So it doesn't matter if you think you fail, as long as you get in the right shape, I suppose, and the, the cultures do their thing and turn those fats into the flavors that we know and love and the lipase that was in there and the thermophilic culture, mesophilic culture, um, then your cheese is gonna turn out okay. Um, I thought it was gonna be a flop, but uh, I hung on to it, uh, literally, <laughs> and hung it up in the laundry, and it has turned out to be a very, very nice cheese. Not as strong as a Parmesan, so I, I'm like, I know they call provolone a poor man's Parmesan, but certainly not as strong as that. But certainly has the flavour profile, the picante flavour profile. Brian's a bit strong. Mm, it'd melt well too. You can tell by the fat profile. But that'd be good. Good for grating, good grating cheese. Um, probably be okay in a cheese platter. Uh, but yeah, nice cheese. So if you want to see how I made provolone, then uh, check out the video over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can visit littlegreenworkshops.com.au for all sorts of kits like these ones to make your very own cheese at home. Thanks for watching Curd Nerds and I'll see you next time.